Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Brandon Bull and I'm a graduating student from the Galvanized Data Science Immersive. For my third capstone, I focused on two of my passions, machine learning and video games. Specifically, the area of machine learning I chose is reinforcement learning and the name of the game is Rocket League. This was some of the most fun I've ever had working on a one week project and there's a lot I'd like to cover. So first a bit on the background and motivation. Rocket League is a competitive online video game developed by Psyonix and released in 2015. In it, two teams of three play a game of soccer, but instead of using their feet to kick a ball, everyone is driving around in cars with rocket engines attached to the back. In October 2020, the game transitioned to a free-to-play model, meaning anyone can download and play the game for free. This move brought the average concurrent users from around 100,000 to over 1.5 million. But even before that, the competitive esports scene attracted major sponsors like Renault, Red Bull, BMW, Puma, Microsoft, and AT&T. Rocket League has also had its championship series air on ESPN. Before joining this course, I was ranked in the top 1.6% of Rocket League players worldwide. The game for me is as much fun to play as it is to talk about, so let's dive in. This project was meant to build on the work I did for my previous capstones. For my first project, I scraped an online database of over 14 million replay files, stored that data in a local database, then I filtered, verified, and cleaned the data before performing statistical tests to determine if a particular game mechanic could be exploited to increase the probability of a win. For my second project, I took a grid search approach and iteratively built many convolutional neural networks, which would look at a screenshot from Rocket League and tell you what car the player was using. My intent for this third project was to teach an agent to play Rocket League using reinforcement learning. After three days of research, coding, and heavily referencing the RLBot wiki, I had a bot in Rocket League that cared about one thing and one thing only, the ball. It didn't care about passing, getting boost, or even scoring a goal. It just chased that sweet gray orb until the match's five minutes had elapsed. There was no capacity for it to learn, and most importantly, I hadn't learned enough myself to teach. Elon Musk once said, it is important to view knowledge as a sort of semantic tree. Make sure you understand the fundamental principles, i.e. the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaves or details or there's nothing for them to hang on to. I did not yet understand the fundamental principles of reinforcement learning because I was so focused on making a bot to play the game. So with that in mind, it was time to get back to basics. I used Python 3 with a slight use of NumPy to make a text-based soccer game, which served as an environment in which a Q-learning agent could learn, play, and be rewarded. The game takes place on a grid system with a player, a ball, and two goals. The location of the player and ball combined make a discrete state. The player may move one space at a time, up, left, down, or right. If the player moves into a square the ball occupies, the ball is kicked one square over in the direction the player traveled. And just like in Rocket League, if the player kicks the ball into the wall, it will bounce off and land behind them. The aim of the game is to score a goal in the opponent's net at the top. Doing so will give a reward of 20. The agent will receive a small negative reward for every turn it takes. This is to incentivize the most efficient solution. If the agent scores in their own goal at the bottom, there's a large negative reward of minus 10. And to help the agent along the path to proper goals, there's a small reward of 0.25 for making contact with the ball. I used a Q-learning or quality learning algorithm whereby we initialize a Q-table. You can see an example with simplified values to the right. The first column contains all possible states, then the next four columns are all the possible actions. To choose an action, the agent finds whatever state it is in on the table, then picks whichever action has the highest reward. If they are all zero or all the same, the agent will randomly choose one. I also used an epsilon greedy strategy, which basically means the agent will explore the environment and randomly choose actions in the beginning. Then as the agent explores and becomes more confident in estimating which action it should take, the epsilon rate decreases, causing the agent to exploit the environment more frequently. It is important to note, Q-learning allows the agent insight and capture of long-term rewards and the process is influenced with variables such as learning rate and discount factor. Let's take a look at how the agent progressed by looking at some games over time in which the ball and player always start in a random position. We can see here in the first 50 games, the agent is mainly exploring the field at random and occasionally bumping into the ball. However, existence is pain with that minus one reward for movement, so the agent quickly becomes friends with the ball to make things just a touch better. After 100 games, the agent still dribbles the ball around. They are old friends by this point, but by now the agent is occasionally finding scoring opportunities. It's not until around 200 games where we see the agent scoring on a semi-regular basis. There are still spots on the field which give trouble, namely the bottom row, but especially when the ball is in front of the agent's own goal. You can almost see the player dance around it to avoid making a bad touch. From around game 251 on, the agent will slot the shot in as few moves as possible, and it doesn't get much better than that. In the future, I plan to experiment with field size, new actions, and reward structures, as well as explore other avenues of reinforcement learning on my path to innovate in the space of Rocket League bots. Thank you kindly for your time. It was a pleasure to present my work.